In this episode, we're going to take a cool look at Mapbox and basically tracking a user's location. So with a Mapbox loaded, we can toggle the location tracker. We can permit it to track our location. And then you can see that we are now tracking the user's location. And the reason why I'm using an iPad here is because I wanted to get some motion data, which Apple has, which I can do different types of tracking. So I can do a city run, a bicycle ride, a freeway drive, and so on. So this episode is not about iOS integration or anything like that. We're simply using it for its location tracker. And so I'm going to let this gather a bit of data because we are also storing this data on the back end. So each time the GPS records a new location, it gets posted to our server. And from there, we're going to be able to do a playback of that user's drive or wherever they were at. And it's important to note that there's two different types of GPS tracking. There is active tracking and there's also passive. Active tracking like this is going to kill any kind of mobile device's battery. So you want to be very careful as you're implementing this kind of feature. But if you're doing a passive tracking where you are then going to track the GPS location on a specific action, whether you are submitting a form or something like that, or just a one-time ping, then that's going to be a bit different and it's not going to drain the battery. So you do want to use caution if you are going to be doing some kind of active tracking. And again, I'm just using a mobile device here just to illustrate the tracking along a path. And so I'll let this run for a few minutes to gather some data points and then we'll look at the history to play back. And one interesting thing is if we navigate around to different parts of the page, you can see that we're still tracking the data. Whereas if someone is still on your application and that application is present, even if they navigate away, then it's going to still track that data. However, if you create a new tab, you'll see that it immediately stops tracking. And there's not too many ways around that without doing a native application or a PWA. And so then we can look at the GPS history, and this is going to be pretty cool because it is going to do a live playback of this user's travel. It's capturing all the GPS data points, and now we are putting a trace on the map with a pen as we are traveling around. And to do all this, we're simply going to be using Hotwire and the Mapbox API. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com? to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.